Okay, warehouse management system and its capabilities in Dynamics 365 specifically. I'm sure you're aware what WMS is in general, but we oftentimes hear a lot of questions like how to evaluate business impact of WMS system, should it be a part of ERP project, is it sold as a separate SKU in Dynamics 365 family? So in this episode, we are going to tackle these and similar questions and we will try to make it simple. Let's go. All right, in many ERP implementation projects, in companies that either manufacture or distribute and sell physical goods, there are often two common misconceptions. The first one is considering ERP is only an accounting and planning software and not necessarily a tool for operational optimization. And the second one, which very close to the first one, is that thinking about WMS system is a, is a completely different software with its own additional and expensive and long implementation. Uh, customers oftentimes say to us, you know, we are not a logistic provider, not sure if such investments will really make sense for us. And honestly, uh, years ago, such statements were quite, quite on point because every software has its own unique platform. But if we talk with customers about these statements nowadays, we usually ask the following. You are in business where logistics and inventory handling play a huge role. How you are going to capture operational efficiencies? Will just inventory accounting approach pay off? And the second, are you aware that modern Taiwan ERP systems has WMS capabilities available out of the box? These two questions turns out to be very great conversation starters that shifts the mindset of business decision makers. But why do we need warehouse management system in the first place? If I have to name top three performance indicators that are positively impacted by warehouse management system, I will usually pick the following. First one is inventory accuracy, which is a percentage of on-hand balance records that are much what we have physically in the warehouse after we do inventory counting. The second one is a percentage of customer orders that, deliver, that are delivered on time and in full. And the third one is a number of order lines fulfilled in the warehouse per unit of time or per worker. There are many other benefits which warehouse management system provides, like uh, real-time inventory visibility, increased time to productivity for a new worker and so on. But just from perspective of these three indicators, let's take a look how inventory handling process looks like when we don't implement warehouse management system. In basic inventory accounting software, there are only a few events that are registered in the system. Let's take a look on the inbound process, for example. Initially, we register the purchase order. We put information like uh, vendor, item quantity, expected arrival date. And then when the goods are actually arrived in the warehouse, the worker is given a paper the paper, okay, with the information from the purchase order. So the worker checks the items and quantity and puts goods away somewhere in the warehouse. And the only workers know where exactly. By the end of the flow, the worker provides the same paper back with a handwritten notes to the accountant or the supervisor to make a general ledger entries in the system for actually received goods. The outbound process looks vice versa. So everything theoretically looks fine until the next year-end inventory counting or customer complaint about under delivery. Okay, so what's the impact on the three performance indicators we mentioned before? Let's start from inventory accuracy. In a healthy warehouse, this number should be very close to 100%. So what's the chance that someone will make mistake in paper-based process? Massive. I can place the goods in the wrong location, I can forget where I place it. I can mi miss the mark on the document. It could be a regrading. So everything that could go wrong will eventually be wrong. And in result, we have a huge difference between what we have in the system and what we have actually in the warehouse. Next, the percentage of customer orders delivered on time and in full. It impacts customer satisfaction. So something very close to 100% is very preferable. Okay, in peak season, where a lot of SKU can be stored almost anywhere. Do we always know where to pick the goods from? Are we sure that our workers take the shortest route possible to pick the items? Do they visit the same place twice 
in case of multiple orders of the same item. How long it takes to register everything we did in the warehouse. So manual process negatively impact warehouse productivity. And it also includes the number of lines fulfilled per week, for example. And it results in missed deliveries. Managers sometimes can't even calculate these numbers without warehouse management software. So absence of guidance from the system increases the amount of errors. But how basic features of WMS can help us avoid these mistakes? At first, in the system, we have to model every physical location in the warehouse and assign a specific number. Different locations can have different properties, like for example capacity, how many pallets it can hold, and also the storage policies, like whether it's allowed to mix different items or different batches within the same location. Next, there are two main engines to guide a worker. The first engine for every given order will suggest us the right location where goods should be picked from or placed to. It's called location directives. In order to suggest the right location, it takes into account item properties, location capacity, on-hand inventory, etc. So warehouse manager can easily configure it in accordance to storage policies. The second engine generates works to perform in the system. So we don't need paper anymore. Every time order is sent to warehouse, the worker on a mobile device will see step-by-step -step instruction where he should go to pick the items, what quantity, and where he should place it to. For example, load into the truck or bring to some packing station. And then to see what's the next priority order to take and so on. The great thing about it is that because everything is performed at the time of exec execution, and registered through a mobile device, we can see exactly who is doing what and how long it takes. It helps managers to control general warehouse productivity. Next capability is usage of mobile device with a barcode scanner. What we usually see in the warehouse, there is a labels with a barcode attached to almost everything. It could be location, products, pallets, cages, even floor. So everything that could simplify and validate data entry made by the worker will speed up the operation and reduce the amount of errors. For example, if I need to pick a pallet from a specific location, I first look where I need to go, then I scan the barcode on the location to make sure I went to the right place, and then I just scan the barcode on the pallet. So system already knows what item at batch number needs to be registered and reduces it from inventory. I just explained very basic capabilities, but the implementation of just these can have significant impact on the three indicators we mentioned at the very beginning. If you then want to make next optimization, there are more advanced features available that can further improve the process. And we will add the link in the description so we can go explore what other features are available. Warehouse management system is part of out-of-the-box modules in Dynamics v 65 supply chain management. It supports all end-to-end -end processes, including inbound and outbound operations, manufacturing, warehouse movements, inventory counting, etc. The mobile device is available and also fully integrated with the rest of the ERP. Could be supported on any widely used device brands like Debra, but technically anything that runs on the Android or Windows operating system. Okay, the last question that bothers company top managers the most. What about ROI? How can we calculate the worth of investments we made in warehouse management system? So start from taking three performance indicators we mentioned and calculate the financial impact if they are improved for let's say 10 or 20%, just for initial assessment. Highlight the spots of potential errors in the process. What leads to the under deliveries, shortages, or lost customers. Next, imagine how ideal process should look like. What organizational changes should be made? Do we have all the barcodes for our products and locations to import them in the future system? Do we need to change the physical layout of the warehouse? Then consider software licenses and the amount of users. At the time we make this video, the Dynamics 365 subscription li license for one warehouse worker costs about $50 a month or $75 per mobile device if you have a day shifts and multiple workers will use the same device. And lastly, 
try to reach out to partner to evaluate implementation cost. The smaller the house you have, the faster implementation will be. If you have only one premise with a very few workers and a basic inbound and outbound floor, then the implementation might take a few weeks. If you have a bigger warehouse, then the bigger positive financial impact warehouse management system will have on your business. There is no reason not to consider it if you go for ERP implementation. From our experience, you definitely need a warehouse management system if one of the following is true. You either have a lot of SKU or big inventory turnover, or maybe many workers working in multiple shifts, or you can calculate indicators within a day, or maybe you're already using Microsoft Dynamics ERP product, maybe previous version, but you just implement the basic inventory accounting. So we will make another video, we will explain how typical implementations can look like. So I hope this video was helpful, wish you a simple implementations and see you in the next episode.